Hello everybody. So today I just wanted to make a really quick video taking a look at what a memory leak is. So memory leaks are a very common form of programming error and they're especially common amongst newer programmers. But it's pretty common for newer programmers to not really understand what a memory leak is. So rather than reading you the formal definition off Wikipedia that anybody could go look up, I figured we'd write a program that has a memory leak, a really simple one, to illustrate what's going on here. So let's do that. So I'm doing this in C++, but this could very easily be adapted to C as well. Uh, very li Nothing really in here is C++ specific, but let's take a look here. So the first thing we need to do is include a couple basic headers. We'll need IO stream so we can see out to the console. And we're going to need C string because we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to use C strings for this demo. So we'll create a pretty standard main function here. Nothing revolutionary there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a C string, which is just a char star, a pointer to basically an array of characters. And we're going to set it equal to a new char array. And I made it size 55. I just picked that size because I was too lazy to count how many characters are actually in my test string. But uh, yeah, that's sufficiently large. So. Anyway, we're going to use string copy to copy into that test buffer, and we're going to copy the string. This is a test string. All right, pretty simple. And now I'm actually going to create a second pointer. I'm just going to call it pointer. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of array, or a little bit of pointer arithmetic, rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to set to equal to the value of test plus size of a char, which is admittedly just one on most characters, one byte, or most systems rather but we'll check it just to be safe it's good practice times 10 so hopefully everyone here is familiar with basic pointer arithmetic if you're not and you'd like me to do a video on pointers and pointer arithmetic let me know and I'd be more than happy to make one but basically all that's going on here is we're taking the memory address of test here and we're adding on the size of a character times 10 so in other words we're moving forward to the start of test in this uh, in the string that's held in the pointer test. So basically, this is just a substring of this string. Hopefully, that makes sense. If not, go review your pointer arithmetic, and it will. Now, at this point, I do not have a memory leak. Uh, everything's just honky dory so far. But just to make sure we're clear on what everything is pointing to here, let's go ahead and print some values here. So the value of test is, and we'll pass that test. And then we'll do the same thing for the value of pointer. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run that. Again, no memory leak yet. Okay, so we get build errors in Visual Studio because string copy is considered unsafe. We can fix that by just putting a define at the top of this. This is just something specific for Visual Studio I forgot about. Anyway, now if we run it, we get the value of test is, this is a test string, and the value of pointer is test string. So like I said, this is a, pointer is just a substring of the test string. <clears throat> so no memory leak yet. But let's take a look at what happens if we modify things ever so slightly here. So now let's take test and let's reassign it to a new char array of size 5. And for demonstration purposes, we're just going to string copy in a new string into that. We'll just copy in the string test. Now we have a memory leak. So let's take a look at what happens if we run it, and then we'll talk about it. So the value of test is test. No surprise there. That's what we reassigned it to. But look at this. The value of pointer is still test string. Well, wait a minute. Didn't we reassign that memory area? Well, now we got a problem. We've got a memory leak. So what happened? Let's take a look at what the memory looked like. So our memory, let's just go down here originally contained this string here. This is a test string. Now what we did is we reassigned it down here to a new char of size 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to account for the null terminator. So we cleared out this part of memory and reassigned it. But we left all of this still in memory. We never deleted any of this, so it's still out there somewhere. Now in this case, we can still access this portion because I've created this pointer to it so we could see that it's still there. This portion we cannot actually access anymore. That is what a memory leak is. We have stuff hanging out in memory that we did not delete, 
that we can no longer even access. So consider a more realistic scenario where I didn't have this separate pointer here. All right, so that pointer doesn't even exist now. It will still run, and I may not see it, but this stuff is still hanging out somewhere in memory, and now I have absolutely no way to access it anymore. And that is what a memory leak is. Now, in this simple example, it's not such a big deal. And this, by the way, is just one example of how you can get a memory leak. There's all kinds of ways you can end up with memory leaks. But in this example, not such a big deal. We've got a couple bytes hanging out in memory. Whoop-de-doo. But consider a very large program for to really make it clear. Consider you're working on, say, a web server application that's running at an enterprise level and getting hundreds and hundreds of hits you know, every few minutes. And let's say every time it loads a resource, it's, you know, got a memory leak of just a couple bytes. Well, that's a couple bytes hundreds of times every few minutes. You can quickly see how this becomes a problem. And even in a less dramatic example, it even on a, a minor program running on your desktop, that's not good. We don't want this. So that's what a memory leak is. And let's take a look at how we would fix that. So how do we fix this memory leak? Well, it's actually quite simple. So in C++, all we would do is first call the array delete on test. There we go. So what happens if we run it now? Look at that. The value of pointer is a whole bunch of junk. And the reason that this is just a bunch of junk is because pointer isn't actually pointing to valid memory anymore. It's trying to print something that doesn't exist. It's just garbled junk now because we cleared and freed out that memory. So that would be the correct way to do it. Uh, another example, we could do another real quick example here. Uh, we'll just use an example using just pure C here. Say that we had a pointer, an int pointer, and we malloc some memory to it. So malloc size of just int. Say this was our whole program right here. Now obviously this program doesn't make sense. We can run it. It works. It doesn't really output anything. All we're doing is, you know, putting some memory on the heap. But there is a memory leak here. Why is there a memory leak? Well, we assign this memory and then the program returns. We never actually freed up that memory. So how you'd fix this, since we're doing this in sort of the C level, we'll use the C call. You'd call free on the pointer. And that's going to free that memory. And now, of course, it didn't change anything output-wise, but now we don't have a memory leak. And the C++ style, of course, would be to call delete on the pointer. Same works just as well. So hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea of what a memory leak is and will help you kind of understand what to watch out for and how to fix them and prevent them because they are extremely common errors. Even seasoned developers that's been doing this for many years still come out with memory leaks. They're very easy. It's part of the problem with languages like C and C++ is it's very easy to end up with memory errors like this. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.